So you've got a little battery pack with Duracell batteries in. <laughs> and you put it in there. To just give you a little demo. <laughs> Stick it on here, see. The idea of creating volume is something that I've worked with for a long time. We use a lot of inflatables. It's kind of a very, I guess, chaotic way of injecting a certain amount of drama and theatre into a garment. When I start to think about making something, it's the material really that really informs what it is that I want to make. Um, so yeah, I mean everything starts with the materials. I work with fabrics that we back onto neoprene or fabrics that we um, manipulate and ruffle to kind of create this huge kind of volume. Every season we like to work with new things. Recently we have been working with quite a lot of, I guess you could call them industrial fabrics, down to something as banal as kind of a plastic sheeting that you can buy at a DIY store. It's just anything and everything really to kind of create something um, that has an interesting movement or an interesting kind of play with light. For me Balenciaga is one of those designers who elevated, I think his approach was something that really elevated that idea. Um, of simplicity within um, something that is luxury. There was always an assumption that if something is incredibly expensive and very laboured over it needs to be something that's really fussy and I think with Balenciaga the more beautiful things that were produced are the things that are the most simple and sublime. That unfussiness and that kind of architectural approach to dressing the body and kind of working with fabrics and kind of allowing them to inform the end result. I think it's, it's a very modern approach to essentially dressmaking or to couture. I really have an appreciation of that certain sculptural quality and it's something that I have kind of been trying to play around, investigate and discover in my own work for a long time and I know for a fact that it's something that was, you know, it's, it's very much part of his signature and his trademark. There's a lot of crossover there between that sense of kind of uh, perfectionism and simplicity but also this idea of trying to not really allow your, yourself to be constrained by the body and um, to create these things that whilst the body is very central to those things, um, they become something other than body. It's understanding the constraints of your profession but being able to really kind of push those, those limits to the extreme and, and it's something that really sets him aside as you know, one of the greats. 